Hello folks, it's a Gameplay Horizon here once again and welcome back to my channel guys and today we will test Leo and uh, which equipment suits best for Leo now and uh, this will be the end game gears for Leo so I have here the uh, surge set and this uh, surge set guys has this attack main stats as you can see it's all attack main stats and on the upper gears I have here attack plus 3 attack plus 2 and damage reduction plus 3 so I have here also a surge set, which is an HP main stats. And this has an HP main stats on gloves with a damage reduction. This has also damage reduction, HP main stats. HP main stats, damage reduction, and attack plus one here. And on the upper gears, I have here damage reduction with attack plus one. I have here attack plus three. And I have here attack plus one. So most uh probably these equipments two equip two sets of equipments are almost uh equal in terms of these sub stats attack plus three and the other one has also attack plus three so uh this uh attack main stats surge has an hp of 2.9 million and an attack of 86 a thousand and on this uh, second gear which is the hp main stats i have here an hp of a uh, 4 million and an attack of 61.5 thousand and it says here also on this uh, raging wave this is a passive skill guys after entering the battlefield Leo will permanently gain a basic attack boost of 1.5 percent of his maximum health and in the battlefield or in the battle the lower the proportion of uh, Leo's current HP the higher his attack so let's ignore this guys because uh, whether you have a very high HP or low HP still the proportion of this is still the same so uh let's just ignore this so the most important here is this uh permanently permanently gain a basic attack boost which is a 1.5 percent obese max hp so another is is that uh leo uh spins a uh, double blades and charges so this is a charge skill to the end to the target area causing 300 percent of attack in my case and uh, this uh, skill has a talent effect in which uh, this is attack based. This skill has a lifesteal effect. So the higher the attack of Leo on his ultimate skill, the greater the lifesteal effect. So on this uh, thunder skill, also it is an attack based, causing a 430% attack damage in my case to nearby enemies and increasing the damage they take by 10% in the next uh, 5 seconds. But uh, we have here, so that would be a uh, 15% for 8 seconds guys. And also we have here the Thunder skill enhancement in which the skill release adds a shield equal to 5% of uh, max HP. So uh, those were the basis of our test guys and let's proceed to our test. So the best way currently to test is in this uh, Crimson Abyss and let's try this uh, level 15 uh, Crimson Abyss guys. And uh, first uh, let's use uh, this uh, Leo with uh, this uh, attack uh, main stats. And uh, let's see. Okay, we have here 86 a thousand attack and we have also here uh 2.9 million hp so uh take a consideration that uh leo also gains an attack by his hp so the higher the hp they are also the attack gained by leo in which uh, you can see here on his uh, skill raging wave uh, it gains a basic attack boost of 1.5 percent of his uh, max hp so guys uh i have here this uh hagradon and hagradon here Okay, let's change our Hagradon. We have some better Hagradon here. Oh my goodness. Why do I have only one Hagradon? <laughs> okay, that's uh, alright. So, we have here uh, HP at front. This is 10% HP, guys. And we will move uh, Leo in the middle. So that uh, it won't be affected by HP nor uh, attack. So that uh, we will only focus on this uh, equipment. So there is no uh, HP or attack on the uh, middle row, guys. So that's why I put a Leo there. And I have here uh, Impulse of Annihilation at a level 39. And Prism Amulet at a level 60. And this uh, Flashpoint at level 60. So uh, these uh, uh, equipments here and the Commander, also, in the, also the prototypes are constant here. So okay, let's uh, challenge this. This uh, test, guys, uh, will help you decide which gear will you temper into Immortal. Because it is uh, quite hard to acquire those uh, Immortal set of gears. 
By the way guys, this is an, the end game gears for Leo. Okay, that's it. And we have 20.4 million damage. So we can retry this. Is that only 20.4 million damage? Let's retry guys. We will see if that is actually 20.4 uh, million damage. Okay, let's see again. Okay, oh, that's uh, pretty accurate. 24.4 or 20.5 million damage. Okay, let's uh, challenge again. And we will replace this with this uh, Surge HP main stats. Okay, so let's see. So we have here 61.5 thousand attack for Leo. So guys, I take note, we have a very high HP here, which is 4 million. And uh, try to think of it, the higher the HP, the higher will be the survivability of Leo in PvP. Am I right? And also, if you will put a Fiona together with Leo and the Vanguard team, uh, this Leo can produce a very decent shield. So the higher the HP, the higher will be the shield too, produced by the commander Hagradon. So uh, if you will check here on Hagradon, Proton Shield, after casting a displacement skill, allied heroes gain a shield equal to 30% of max HP for 5 seconds. So this is survivability guys. Plus, if that shield explodes uh, with this impulse of annihilation, it deals equal uh, it deals damage equal to 55% uh, of the shield strength and that is an AoE damage. So uh, this is the HP of Leo at 4 million. So let's uh, test this. Oh by the way guys, still Leo is at the middle. So uh, there is no uh, buff on uh, middle on the middle here, on HP and on attack. So the HP is only at front. So uh, let's challenge this. Okay, let's see how much damage this uh, HP set, uh, HP main stats can dealt. Okay. That's it. <laughs> so we have here, okay guys, we have 20.9 million. So it's this really 20.9 million. Let's try again, guys. Okay, let's uh, try again. Look at that. Leo can spin 2.4 million uh, damage. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, it reached at 21.2. So it's between uh, in that uh, range at 20 point uh, something to 22 point, uh, to, to 21.2 million. So why did this happen? So guys, uh, this is because of uh, this, uh, let's see. This is because of this uh, collection. So this collection here, especially if Leo is in a PvP, we can gain here at 20% more HP. So the higher the HP of Leo, the higher the shield explosion. So all of these uh, trophies here, guys, gives lots of HP. So Leo needs lots of HP. And the game is correct. We can see here, okay, at the uh, strategy in which the game uh, did not change the HP core stats because the game uh, knows that uh, these core stats are is correct. So guys, this is only my opinion and I am giving here some insights and you have the option not to follow my guide. So once again, thank you guys and see you again next time. Bye-bye!